YouTube. So today I have a collective haul for you guys. I got half of this at Sephora and half of it at the drugstore. So I'll start off with this stuff I got at Sephora. First, and the most exciting is, I got the Naked palette. And I know I'm really, really behind on this. The new one just came out. But I just got it, and like everyone else who has it, I absolutely love it. There's the shadows. It's really great and definitely worth the money. That's why I waited so long to get it, because I wasn't sure if I would like it or if it was going to be worth $50. It also came with the mini primer potion. The next thing I got from Sephora was this Tarte gift set. It just looks like this. And it was $25. And it comes with four products, three sample sizes and one full size. It comes with their lip surgeon. And this is like the orange color. I really like these. And I want to get more. It's like a lip gloss, but in like pencil form. And then it also comes with a mini lights, camera, lashes, mascara, which I don't really think it's worth it if I were to buy it full size. The next thing it came with is one of their natural cheek stains in flush, and it's just a really nice berry color. I'd also like to get some more of these along with the lip surgeons. And then the full size product is this Clay waterproof, waterproof Liner. It's the black one. And it has a really nice lid. And then that's just how it looks. I've used it a couple times. I really like it. The next thing I got from Sephora is just this mini Bad Gal Lash by Benefit. And I really like this mascara. I think it's very similar to the CoverGirl mascara though, the Lash Blast. And I'll just show you the one. Like I said, I really like it. It's really dark and black, and it really makes your lashes have a lot of volume. And I also got these face sprays. I haven't tried them yet. I got them at the checkout. It's just like a makeup setting spray. And as you can read, this is 2 for 12. And this mini mascara, I believe, was $9. 9 or 10. And then I got one more thing from Sephora. I got this mini benefit set. It comes with Posey Tint. High Beam and Benetint, great, and this was $15, so I think that's a good deal. Okay, for the drugstore, first I got the CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation, and mine's in the lightest shade they had, which is 305, and I'm wearing it today, and so far so good, like, it definitely has a good amount of coverage and it's really smooth to apply. And I also got this L'Oreal set. It's their primer, their Magic Perfecting Base. And it came with a little bonus, which is an anti-dull skin primer. And it's just like a pinky salmon primer. So yeah, that was good. These were $13, I believe. And this was on sale for 12 And then I got a Revlon Grill Luscious Mascara, which I think was on sale for 7 or $9. And I just got this because I heard it's like really nourishing for your lashes. And my lashes have been getting pretty dry lately, so I got this. And then I got two cream eyeshadow products. They're both by Maybelline and they're new. They're the color tattoo ones. 
That's what they look like. I got 45 bold gold. Just looks like this. This one, it has a lot of shimmer in it, and it's a really nice gold color. There it is. And the other one I got is 25 Bad to the Bronze, which I think is a really super cute name. And I like this one a little bit better than the gold one. It just feels a little more creamy. So there's that one on top. See, so yeah, I like these, and these were, I think, six or seven dollars each. And then I got this Maybelline stain gloss, which is new. And I got mine in 140. Which, it looks like this. Like, it looks like it'd be a nice berry pink color on the cap, but I'm actually wearing it today. And it's more of a red color. But, like, so there's the applicator. It goes on just like a lip gloss, but then, like, almost instantaneously, it dries. One thing I do love about this, even though I'm kind of disappointed that the color is not exact to what it was on the cap, it smells just like cherry Kool-Aid or strawberry Kool-Aid. It smells so great. I got the Maybelline Baby Lips in, I think this is the cherry one. It's just, you know, a standard tinted lip balm. And I also have the hydrating one, which is the blue and pink, but that's over there, so I'm not going to go get it. And then I got two Revlon lip butters. I got the lilac one and a hot pink one. So this one is called 60 Gumdrop. And then the pink one is called Sweet Sweet Tart. So there they are. There's Gumdrop and that's Sweet Tart. I like them both. And I just went to the drugstore yesterday and L'Oreal has come out with their own version of the Revlon lip butters. They're not called lip butters, but they're something close and the packaging is also similar in this like kind of sheer packaging. So I didn't purchase any. They were the same price as these. These were ten dollars and so were the L'Oreal ones. I didn't purchase any because the testers I swatched they were really, really sheer. Like I was gonna the cap, there was this one deep berry plum color and I thought about purchasing it. But then when I swatched the texture of it, it was like really sheer. Like it was more sheer than gumdrop. So yeah, I didn't get any of those. Maybe it was just the colors I picked out weren't that great. But so far I would definitely prefer the Revlon lip butters over the L'Oreal ones. And I got one last thing from the drugstore, which is just a nail polish by L'Oreal. And it is in the color 470 Caught Red Handed which might also be an OPI name, or there's a polish similar to that by OPI that has that name. Just put a little bit on for you. It has some nice, like, duochrome in it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's like kind of a coppery burnt orange and then a deep red with shimmer. And that's just one swipe of it. So it's really shiny. And I'm going to actually paint this on my toes today. So that's everything I purchased from Sephora and the drugstore. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, request, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.